Aluminum blocks essential nutrients. I am unable in my garden to restore normal pH, and that's because nanoparticles are now in the circulatory systems of both plants and humans. So welcome, fellow guinea pigs. Uh, All right, guys, we're going to get right into it. In this video, I'm going to establish a timeline. So I want you guys to understand that nothing that you're seeing right now on your TV um, is actually, you know, by coincidence. It's not organic. Everything is happening by design on a timeline. And what I'm going to do in this video is establish some of this information so you can see that, you know, the people that are saying this are actually speaking the truth. You'll also, maybe you'll start to register why Monsanto, which is now called Bear, and please look up the Bear Company because they have very nefarious backgrounds, but you could see why they have a patent on growing food in soil contaminated by aluminum. Like, why would they have a patent for soil contaminated with aluminum to grow crops in? Like, why would they have that? So we're gonna give you all the information in this video. Hopefully you'll share this video with your friends. And here we go. In 1961, Thursday, September 7th, this is uh, the parliament here over in Queensland, Australia. Dr. Donald Cameron, Oxley, Queensland, wrote, I think I can best answer the honorable gentleman's question by making a few remarks about the nature of the cloud seeding work that is done by the CSIRO. Now, that stands for Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization. The first thing I should say is that it is a mistake to imagine that we have a drought-breaking weapon. 1961. What we really have is a method of increasing rainfall in areas where otherwise it may be inadequate. I should also add that the project really is still in its experimental stages. One of the great difficulties about using the rain making apparatus is in dry season that just about the time the conditions are necessary for augmenting rainfall, they're not present. Even clouds which seem to the layman to be suitable may be quite unsuitable. You might think that there's clouds, I'm gonna paraphrase here, but you might think that there's clouds that could handle the seeding operation, but there's no more, there's no moisture in the clouds or anything to help along with the system. So basically nothing's going to happen. That's what he said. Now that's from 1961. They're talking about cloud seeding in Australia. Now, I'm gonna move you guys up a little bit because I heard about this when I was a younger gentleman. It was called Operation Popeye. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with Operation Popeye, I'm gonna read you a brief synopsis of it, and then you can kind of let that sink in a little bit. But Operation Prop Popeye, this is all available on the internet. You can go look it up. Operation Popeye, Project Controlled Weather Popeye, Motor Pool, Intermediary Compatriot. So Operation Popeye was a military cloud seeding project carried out by the U.S. Air Force during the Vietnam War. 1967 to 72. So for five years, they were cloud seeding in Vietnam. And the reason why they did that is because they were trying to slow the Viet Cong down on moving their ammunitions around, right? So they were trying to muddy up the ground real good during the war so they could not move their artillery stuff around. Okay, you can go look this up for yourself. The former Secretary of Defense, Robert McNara, was aware that there might be objections raised by the international scientific community, but said in a memo to the president that such objections had not in the past been a basis for preventing the military activities considered to be in the interest of the U.S. national security. The chemical weather modification program was conducted from Thailand over Cambodia, Laos, and Vietnam, and allegedly sponsored by the <laughs> and allegedly sponsored by the Secretary of State Henry Kissinger. Henry Kissinger said, famously, "Control the food, control the people, control the weather, control the food." Right? Come on, you guys. Henry Kissinger and the CIA without authorization of the Secretary of Defense, Melvin Laird, who had categorically denied that Congress had a program for modification of the weather for use as a tactical weapon even existed. You guys catching that? In your face, denied that the weapon 
even existed. Are you guys following what's going on over in Dubai? Because this is what started this all back up for me. I mean, I've talked about this stuff in the past, but then I was watching Dubai getting flooded on and immediately I thought about cloud seeding. So then I started doing a little bit of research about Dubai and cloud seeding and here's Joe Rogan. Billionaire friend of mine who's a legitimate billionaire, mm -hmm. told me that it's entirely possible that some of these guys are trillionaires, some of these Middle Eastern guys. He's like, you've never seen wealth like this. It's, it's insane. In, do you know in the United Arab Emirates, they make it rain every week? Once a week, they make it rain. I mean, they see the clouds. Really? They make it rain, yeah, because they're in the desert. And they're like, eh, I don't like this. I like it to rain. So they fucking put all that shit that they have to put into the sky to make it rain, which they've been doing forever, cloud seeding, but insanely expensive. But they do it once a week. So 52 times a year it rains. Man, you guys, can you see what's going on? Now, Evergreen Aviation admits, admits to chemtrail contracts with the United States Air Force. Evergreen Aviation, one of the world's largest private aviation companies admits to weather modification services. On their own website, in the market section of their new super tanker, they state weather modification along with other interesting service markets. Content copied directly from the Evergreen Aviation website. Markets, firefighting, oil spill containment, weather modification, and biochemical decontamination. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Now I have another article for you guys. Uh, NZ Aero hoping to win contract to provide rain-making aircraft to Thailand. Okay, New Zealand's only commercial aircraft manufacturer is hopping. Uh, New Zealand's only air. New Zealand, the New Zealand's only commercial aircraft manufacturer is hoping to win a contract to provide new aircraft for the Thai government's rain-making department. Waikido-based NZ Aero which replaced the former Pacific Aerospace, was taking part in the New Zealand government's business delegation to Southeast Asia. Thailand uses artificial rainmaking as a tool to combat the effects of drought on its agriculture section. Okay? So I've given you guys a lot of information, man. They are seeding the clouds with aluminum, barium, and all that stuff. If you guys haven't got our latest shirt to hit, maybe you should click the link down below, offgridwithdougandstacy.com, and hit the shop tab and get our latest shirt. I can't breathe. And all kidding aside, this is going to have ramifications on us, okay? It is just, it is. And it already is actually having ramifications on us. Check out this clip. You want some figures? Okay, latest water test. Tested the rain. 13,100 micrograms per liter of aluminum in the rain in 2013. Normally, it should be zero. So 13,100 is pretty damn much, folks. It used to be zero. Then it was 100s in the 2000s. And then in, uh, since 2010, it's into the 1000s and the latest 13,100. In the snow on Mount Shasta, pristine Mount Shasta, 61,000 feet. No, excuse me, 8,000 foot level, 61,000 micrograms per liter. Four times the amount that is found in the soil up there. Where in the hell is this stuff coming from if it's not coming from the soil? You know, these tests are international in scope. We're seeing this all over the world, guys. Okay, pH of acid soils is 20 times more alkaline. The aluminum in the soil has doubled in the last 10 years. Aluminum blocks essential nutrients. I am unable in my garden to restore normal pH, and that's because nanoparticles are now in the circulatory systems of both plants and humans. So welcome, fellow guinea pigs. Uh, the collapse and decrease of agriculture is something I worry about even more than the previous info about autism and Alzheimer's. Share this with your family, friends, associates if you want to. Okay, help get the word out. I'm going to do another video tomorrow about the cloud seeding programs. And then on Saturday, I'm going to be with Dr. Leo and we're going to show you guys how you can become more self-sufficient. Okay, with the bees especially. Without the bees, we are going to have absolutely nothing, right? Bees, butterflies, all of our pollinators are under attack. And all these chemicals that they're spraying everywhere is not helping.
okay? Share this video with your friends. A thumbs up on the way out and make sure you subscribe. YouTube is unsubscribing people from our channel because this is the information that they want to squash, okay? So it's up to us to share it, all right? And we'll see you guys tomorrow. I have some really good stuff for you tomorrow.